What is up, YouTubers, gamers, and hobbyists? Welcome to On the Bench Repeat, the series you put on in the background whilst you hobby or paint along with me. And I'm doing this one, this episode, really to, to try and get some stuff done on my bench. Like, I know I'm getting stuff done on my bench anyway, but I'm really trying to get stuff done on my bench. I've just removed a whole bunch of sandbags, not all of them, half of my sandbags. So they're all done now. Um, so half of my sandbags, all done, all gone. So they're off the bench, so that's nice. But still chock a block. Got my half track here, which I've painted a um, dark camo, German camo, dark green. It's gonna be a base coat. Um, okay, so, and I've got my pit fighters. I've got my, um, I've got, Lysander, I've got Tor Garadan. I've got Lysander's shield. Oh yes. It's gonna be good. I think we might even get his shield on today. That's no reason why it can't go on him now. Uh, just looking at it. Uh, yeah, no reason at all. Okay, so maybe, maybe that's what I'm gonna do first, if I can. I've got some super glue. Yes. Uh, <laughs> right. So, get your coffees ready, your teas ready, your paints ready, your models ready, your glue, whatever else you need. Let's get to the bench. Right, my friends, I've tested Speed Paint, um, you know, the Army Painter Speed Paint Crusader skin. This is what it looks like. It's just one coat. Not bad. I'm gonna apply some fire slayer flesh to my other pit fighter. I'm gonna do that right now. Just because I wanna get these guys painted up as well. So get a um a a contrast paint here. So it's kind of almost like, you know, contrast paint versus speed paint, but it's not, it's not, <clears throat> I'm not comparing them against one. Well, obviously I will when I just look and see the results, but I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not out to setting out to see if one is better than the other. No, not at all. I'm just uh, wanting some variation in each of my pit fighters because, you know, they are going to be... I don't know if there'll be different levels of the Gladiator Arena, but they will certainly be... I certainly want some different aesthetics for them. Uh, you know, the idea is that they they're from all different parts of the world. A bit like Gladiators, became enslaved, trained to fight in the Gladi Gladiator Arenas. Excellent at fighting now. And generally just, yeah. Bad ass. So, Fire Slayer Flesh. Yeah, it's a little bit darker, isn't it? That's fine. Just what I needed. And then, I put Bugman's Glow on this one as a base coat. So, I need to do Franklin Flesh Shade to go over the top of him. The brush I got with the um, speed paints, pretty cool, however. Reichland flesh shade, let's. Reichland flesh shade, Reichland flesh shade, here we go. <coughs> Reichland flesh shade. Just wash this brush out. I've got both my ruined farmhouses out on the bench as well, so it's a little bit chaotic right now. More so than usual, yes. All right, so I put. Ah, uh, come on, come on. So leave this open with a plastic thing here. Right. I mean, there is a difference between painting conventional way. 
and like the speed paint or contrast way it yeah it may be quicker it, um but that's okay i do like to use those um for skin well i've always used uh, uh, been partial to using contrast paint for skin i was just going over these to make it a bit more um what's the word um conventional <laughs> let's pop some right clean flesh shade on my uh, german soldier here right. half track oops <sighs> crushed the plastic thing huh? that was clever yeah right so i really want to get some stuff done today well let's start by let's get some of these off these paints off right so get there. hobgrot hide i would say i'm gonna put that as a brown more cast bone. Bone colours I like to go in with flesh because flesh goes on bones, that's how I think of it. Probably not the most logical way of doing it, I know, but whatever, sue me. <clears throat> um so my greys here. Don't need these anymore. Not at the moment. Grey, 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 grey. Yep, so I can get rid of all of these greys, that's good. Sorry guys, just bear with me. <laughs> I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Tidy it up live on on the bench. Doesn't get much more dynamic than this. I'm sure it does, right. So I'll move my half track over there. Right. Lysander. Then we are going to need to open up the contact points slightly on the back of his fist here. That's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, so technically. I'm thinking of Putting him on his um, rock base as well. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good, my friends. Hmm. I did some highlighting on him yesterday. It came out quite nice, I think. I'm going to take it another couple of steps, I think. Even though he's a uh, grim dark. Sorry about that. Um, it's my brush. Yeah, even though he's grim dark, I would like him to have a couple more highlights. Oop. 
Right. Here we go. Here we go. Start. Right. <clears throat> now, let's position the shield over his hand like so, and voila. There he is, my friends. Where is he? Yep, comes away from that base. Nice and simple. This is awesome. I think putting him on a rocky base that I'm going to will make him a bit more imposing. To, and it will make up for the fact that he's not a Primaris. That is my plan. Whether it goes to um, follows it, whether it goes through like to the letter, I don't know. I want it on is this. Was it that way around or that way around? I think it must have been that way around, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Super glue, come on. That's gonna look great. Look at that. Captain Donna flies under. I mean, he's already not bad, but he's got a lot of uh, work to be done yet. But I'm liking that, my guys. Liking that. Hell yeah. Well, I'm gonna leave him to one side to dry. Because, quite frankly, I don't want to mess that up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was good. I enjoyed that. Right. Now, the German field grey for this guy's uh, uniform here. Yeah. The half track. Oh, I want to get my Germans done, basically. I want to get my Germans done. And yes, you could argue, well, that should be bolt action maneuvers video. Yes, you could argue that. Let's have some coffee. Mm -mm -mm. But if I left it, if I only did the building and painting on those videos, they'll never get done. So, you know. Right. Um, I'm going to apply some Lamium Medium here. Heavy helping. There we are. 
now it's just a case of can I get you know to all the places I need to well German field grey we can only hope Yeah, sounds like I missed a good um, convention, the Legionnaires or Legionaries or whatever it was called. Legionary, I think. I don't know without looking at my phone. Uh, I just don't want to look at my phone because I'm painting. But anyway, the one at Marsh Barton, anyway. <laughs> so apparently they had a lot of bolt action sort of related stuff there. So. Yeah, like I say, shame I couldn't go, but, you know, you know why I couldn't go. Because <laughs> I would have wanted to buy said related bolt action stuff. And I wouldn't have been able to, so that would have made me sad. And that's not conducive to a happy hobbyist. I recall now. Not very easy to access, and I recall also thinking, yeah, I'll paint them separately before I put the soldiers in the, the um, half tracks next time. But that was about I don't know, seven or eight years ago. Little wonder I forgot, hey? Eh? Soon remembering now, though. Soon remembering now. Ah, that's okay, you know, that's the way it goes, those are the breaks. As long as he looks like he's done from most angles, I mean, you're not going to be picking him up off of the, the um, <clears throat> table top mid-game, are you, to say, oh, I want to just check, see if he's painted in all the right places. At least I hope not. I'm not going to do that, so... Yeah, so I'll just uh, paint that. I can do his um, like bed roll or whatever separately later. Just get down there to do his um, boots in a couple of areas and we'll be good. <coughs> yeah, that's all right. That's good. Stuff. There we are. <coughs> yeah, that, that is good. Yeah, so I haven't decided whether I'm going to go with a camouflage pattern on this one yet or not. Just don't know uh, the tracks here. Probably do have a bad and black. Or matte black might be better. Yeah, matte black. Yes, matte black. So, we'll do that. We'll look for some matte black. Like so. Tracks and the tyres done then. Well, I'm just going to go over his uh, helmet again here, where I went over with the uh, field, field grey. Just caught it. Just doing the rim of his um, helmet here. Yeah, I'll do it. <coughs> right, matte black. It have to be placed on its side. Bits of glue on my fingers. That's annoying. Right, matte black. Here we are. Army painter, touch of water. Oh, yeah. Mm. 
Okay, we have a slightly larger brush of this size too. These are great, these tri-grip detailers. Really good. Yeah, he says, <clears throat> from what I've seen, a lot of the tracks are black. So you've got to get out of the habit of thinking Warhammer, well, they must be silver, you know. <laughs> no, they're mostly black. And I'll grime them up a little bit, but I don't want too much because I want these to be quite neat and tidy and pristine. Sort of just rolled out from the production line, ready to be drafted into service. Yeah, so let's uh, <clears throat> get this half track done. I would also like to build some of my other tanks. Um, it's true I don't want to learn to play the game with anything other than what's in the uh, Band of Brothers um, box set. But no reason why I couldn't build up some of the other tanks. I'm, I'm, I, I do seem to be acquiring quite a few, and uh, as I have a box that my bolt action stuff can be stored, and I don't see it as too much of a problem. I'll do this tire as well. Yeah, I really like the matte black. question of getting it on all the areas I need to not necessarily on all the areas just on all the areas I need to I don't know if I mentioned it on another on the bench but I watched Young Guns 1 and 2 recently you know they're talking about doing a third one now like a reboot sort of thing well, not a reboot, uh, but only a continuation. But obviously, they're all older now. You know, Emilio Estevez, all that kind of thing. It, um, all those actors. Um, they're not going to call it Young Guns, just going to call it Guns. <laughs> guns 3 is the working title. See, so yeah, I would watch it in a heartbeat because it's a great movies. I've forgotten how good they were, actually. Oh, bugger. Touching the bottom of the tracks. It's not cricket, you know. I'll have to leave him on this side and do the rest of them later. That's irritating. Damn irritating. Alright. No problem. No problem. Where's that? Um, oh, yeah, you can do a bit of a stipple. On my buildings. Like, boom, boom, baby. Yeah, we need a lot of black and uh, effect on here. Been blown up for goodness sake. Fires, all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Excellent. Not going to varnish the terrain because I don't see the point. No, I really don't. I think he's kind of done as well. And, and him. That makes for a few things off of the bench there now. That's cool. That's cool. Um, right. All the stuff I do here today is to progress for the next time. Because the next time I'll be out here won't be until my next rest day. So I'll have, have to get through my next week at work, which I can't talk about. Um, it's 
been a bit stressful. I, I, but not because I can't, not because I don't know what I'm doing, but because I can't do what I need to do <laughs> due to IT problems, issues. I don't know that shouldn't stress you out, but it just does. It does stress me a little bit because, uh, although it's not my fault, I just feel guilty for uh, not being able to do stuff. So, what do you do, you know? <laughs> I can't do anything about it. It's down to them, but, uh, you know, at the same time, it's like, well, oh, I feel I should be doing something more. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's the way of it. Okay. So let's bring Lysander back into the fold. So let's go for some Phalanx Yellow. Wanna really get some uh, cool highlights done now. Okay. Right, where his highlights were done before. We go halfway along. Do the others now. Just got to be pretty careful here. Mmm, damn, he looks good. He is looking good. Okay. This is not easy because it takes so long to edge highlight, but at the same time, you don't do very much of it, do you? Yeah, big long gap of silence there, I know. <laughs> Watching me do this, oh, you're so such a trooper. Yeah, you are such a trooper. Not all gaps I take out, you know. Some of them I keep in because I like them. <laughs> I think some of them I think are relevant to um, what I do. I'm hosting several meetings next week. And um just want to make sure my uh, IT is working, basically. So I'm a little bit nervous about that. <laughs> Nothing worse than hosting stuff and it's not working. Made a mistake there and just attempted to wash it away. That's what I've done. Yeah, so that's still that's good. Nice lot of highlights on him. Um, Frank Blue, got a little bit of touch up that needs doing there. Uh, 
that's good. Finished off the front today of my house, the um the pole and the doorstep thing. That's all as good as I can get it for now. So I'm pleased about that. It's looking really good out there, I think. Okay, Lysander. He does need some highlights on his shield. Ah, what I could do is the right kind of flesh shade for his face. Do that. Just needs a little bit, that's all. Yeah, you had some on before on the Bugman's Glow, but sometimes when you put like the lighter flesh tone on top, it it kind of detracts from the aesthetic of the face. So I've done that now, so that's good. Oh, we're gonna do a uh, Drakenhof Night Shade wash on his cloak on the one side so we'll get that done let's move that half track out of the way so just apply this Shade wash where it needs to be. There we go. Drakenhof Nightshade. Now he does need to be a little bit raised off the ground, so just just a little bit like that, so that the um the shade wash can dry appropriately. Do you know what I mean? Otherwise it'll just all run to the bottom and then it looks nasty and then I'll be peed off about that. But not if I do that. So that's good. Right. Lead Belcher is next. Let's put that in the pan. Let's get a new palette. Quite frankly, sometimes make it chatty. Okay, that belt you because I'm going to be doing some uh, metal on the weapons of my pit fighters. Yeah, well, my coffee will be cold by now. I'm gonna drink. I get so engrossed, you see, in what I'm doing. Right, gleeping brush. I bought a new load of gleeping brushes actually. So that's quite good. New load of gleeping brushes. There we are. That reminds me, washing out my brush, I'm on the lookout for some more old school Citadel wash pots, the old ones, the small ones that I used to get. I want them for my other painting station. Hmm. Good coffee. Half track's nearly done, nearly dry. Nearly done. Huh. Nearly, nearly done. Uh, let's do some lead belt on these guys. Yeah, why not? Uh, 
Um, okay. I don't know. I wonder how long how long next week will take to come around the next weekend. I don't know. What do you think? Do the weeks go by quick for you or um, not really? I mean, in my old job, they used to. They used to. It's weird. They used to go quickly, but not. Not during the week, it felt like it was taking forever. I think a lot of that was due to the fact of um, working late, when I worked late, which I hated doing. Oh, I've got a new, uh, I won't, I don't know if it's a Mandela effect or not, probably not, but it's something I've discovered on my own, off my own back anyway, quite inadvertently. Do you remember in Lord of the Rings where it actually it was in um, um, the Two Towers, Battle of Helm's Deep, when Legolas and Gimli were doing a sort of counting competition of how many orcs or enemy they'd killed. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Think back to it. Yeah, I'll give you a little while to recall it, because this is what we're going to be talking about. This is my Mandela effect, okay? So I'm saying it's a Mandela effect. It, it is for me. Okay, now after the battle, right, do you recall Gimli is sat on, on a dead orc or whatever, and Legolas says to him you know, his final score, which was 42. And Gimli says something along the lines of, uh, 42, that's a, that's a, not bad for a pointy-eared elvish princeling or something like that. Then he says, I myself, however, am sitting pretty on 43. At which point Legolas immediately uh, notches a arrow to his bow and fires into the dead orc that Gimli is sitting on. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Yeah? And then Gimli, uh, sorry, then Legolas says, 43. Gimli promptly says, that doesn't count. He was already dead. You remember that? Okay, we're nearly there. We're nearly getting to it. So keep thinking about that scene. Okay, Legolas says, he says, he was twitching. What does Gimli say in response to that? Okay, think about it for a moment. What does Gimli say in response to Legolas saying he was twitching? Because what I remember is different to how it actually is when you look at the clip now. All right. Did you think... Gimli said he was twitching because he's got my axe buried in his spinal column. And as he's pulling the axe, he's, he's yanking on it and the, the body is indeed twitching. Do you remember that? Am I making any sense here? Didn't actually say that, but that is what I remember him saying. I'm hoping you remember that too. The more people remember it that way, the less likely I am of being nuts. He didn't say that. He said, if you look at the clip now, he said, he says, he was moving, he was twitching because he's got my axe buried in his nervous system. Now, that doesn't even make sense in that world. He they wouldn't have known about nervous system, central nervous system. I know Tolkien didn't write it that way, but how do you, what, what do you remember? Because, I mean, that does, just doesn't even make sense. Nervous system? Gimli would have known about that. Spinal column, yes. I can see to that. What do you remember? What, what do you remember? Uh... 
I mean, even if it is just a case of uh, a poor memory on my part, it doesn't make sense that way around. Nervous system. Not in that fantasy world. Sorry, but it doesn't. Yeah. Let me know what you how you remember that scene going. Well, it was a long time ago in the movie now, but come on. I mean, I've, I've had people scoff at the uh, whole Mandela effect thing in that, but come on, it makes you bloody wonder, doesn't it? Makes you wonder. Yeah, well, I don't know. I I come across Mandela effects sometimes, and that whole dazzle ship thing on the previous P and Q. That really, that really got me. Nobody, nobody even commented on that. The dazzle ship thing. Never even heard of them. But they were, they were a thing that doesn't make any sense to me in like World War Two to have dazzle ships. Not just the time factor, it was the extra time it would take to paint ships that way. But also the expense, which really didn't have that luxury during the Second World War. You had to fight with what you had, you know. But dazzle ships just bloody crazy. Honestly, if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the P and Q from ages ago where I mentioned it. Please, 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 comment on it. I would like, I would love to know your views. Yeah, what the hell, dazzle ships? Just look it up. <laughs> it's not how I remember, like, uh, D Day and all that, Battle of Britain stuff going down. Normandy, or whatever it was, the, the invasion of Normandy, D Day. Boarding the, uh, the land. From dazzle ships. Mm. How much sense does that make? I mean, it's just like it is another reality, and it's not that I. Want. And if I believed in that, which I pretty much do. I'm okay with the fact that I'm that I'm from a different reality. If that was the case, so we're getting a bit surreal now. But you know, this is what I think about. I'd be okay with it. Would it make more sense for a dwarf in Lord of the Middle Earth to say he's got my axe buried in his spinal column, or he's got my axe buried in his nervous system? Uh, you know. You tell me, and then justify, if you don't believe in the Mandela effect, justify why it's said that way around, you know? Because I can't think of a good reason. What I know of Mandela effects, uh, they're not trying to change anything on purpose or anything, it's just, that's just the way it is, it is different. You, uh... You are literally in a different reality from one you were created in. That's how it goes. I mean, <laughs> we get really deep and weird about this stuff now. But um, oh, hey, Pete, you're you're freaking me out now, man. Stop, stop it. No, I'm. I'm <laughs> no, it's just it's interesting, don't you think? I find it fascinating. How cool is that as well? Yeah, if you're, if you are you're from a different reality, that's so cool. It's a bit like. Uh, the Marvel Universe or the multiverse in the Marvel uh, cinematic world. 
different different realities. It's just really cool. I think it's cool anyway. I, you know, I think it's cool. I'm gonna go and test some of my uh, IT equipment later. Right. That's looking cool. That's looking really cool. Well, really cool. No, I've been through that on the last um, uh, on the last chill with Pete. Not chill with Pete. Last on the bench with Pete. Really cool. We've done all that. <laughs> but it is really cool. <laughs> uh. Right. The Lysander can stand up right again. Oh, we're at 53 minutes. That's a shame. It means I'm coming to the end of my hobby experience, my hobby time. Boo. I'll do some matte black on the other side of this half track. Yeah. It's been brilliantly, it's been brilliant um, hobbying this weekend with you guys. I've got quite a bit of hobby done and I've got loads of uh, domestic stuff done as well. Normally the two don't go hand in hand, do they? Now I'm um, into my new job as well. I want to do a sort of a set rotor for when I do housework so that at the weekend I've got more time for hobby baby you know it this the other point about quiet moments especially on these videos is, is it's relaxing <laughs> like watching a fish tank to hear the pump going that is so relaxing it's why they have fish in like some waiting rooms like dentist or doctor or hospital or whatever just to relax you put you at ease and it works well, I think it works yeah. goes blowing again <laughs> we won't be able to watch a movie tonight because we've all got work tomorrow but uh, we can watch one of our series that we watch I vote for either a monk or an x-files Use off my votes. There we go. There. Matte black. Awesome. Well, I am impressed with the speed paint, I have to say. done really well really well came out really good very impressed very impressed indeed um, that skull 
what his shield could do with being a different colour. If indeed that's what it is. Glorious gold I think would be a good colour. Well, I'm going to carry on, but I'm going to finish up here with you guys. So we've done a little, a nice little bit there. Let's zoom out. Back to me. Yeah, done a nice little bit there. I'm, I'm pleased with that. I mean, like I say, Lysander is just really coming on in leaps and bounds now. And, uh. He's actually slightly taller than Tor Garadon because he's on the rock. But side by side, they look about even size wise. That's, that's pretty good. I mean, Tor Garadon, he's not even in Terminator, term, Terminator armor, although he's got that power fist thing. But yeah, you know. He just looks badass. He looks great. These two wonderful leaders from my Imperial Fists. Either one could take command, and I'd be more than happy with that. Captain Darnaf Lysander. Yeah. Really good. Thinking out loud now with this orc. We're gonna do a like a bronzy, coppery kind of a his shield. Yeah. About it. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week. I'll wait a week before I can do hobby again now. Mm, sad face, but we'll be back. Um, we'll be like, yes, it'll be a new weekend. It'll be, yeah, more hobby. I have I have progressed with bolt action, not as much as I would have liked, but it's a progression nevertheless, and I'm, and I'm really pleased about that. So clearing the bench off, really does help uh helps immensely and yeah i'm just gonna have to clean up some of the paints and things off of here thanks ever so much for don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down whatever way it goes um share it if you can that'd be awesome put it on the likes of facebook that'd be that'd be amazing if you can share any of my stuff on facebook guys because i'm not on there that'd be good uh, I would uh, appreciate that. And check out Patreon if you want um, to see what exclusive videos you can have access to. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Remember all brushes at all. And bye for now. Bye-bye.